welcome viewers if still you're not subscribed to this channel kindly subscribe and also click the bell icon to get technology updates regularly on this jp infotech channel hi in this video we are going to see about a java project which is entitled as dual access control for cloud based data storage and sharing before seeing the execution of the project let me brief about this project so basically in this project the files in the cloud has been which is which has been stored and also able to share the data to other users or been prone to edos economical denial of sustainability attacks so to overcome this kind of attack the data should not be also encrypted but also should be protected some with access control policy so for this purpose the authors have proposed a concept of dual access control so this dual access control will be protecting the data that is stored in the cloud from the unauthorized users and also from this kind of edos attacks so in this architecture you can see the entities data owner the data owner of the person who uploads the file and data user those who request the file and also you can see the f the cloud is with embedded with the entity called enclave and also the authority so the enclave and the authority will be checking the authorization or the access policy so this is will be implemented as the dual access control so let us see the execution of the project so we have implemented this project in java using netbeans 8.2 so first let me load the project into the netbeans so select the source code and click open project and kindly wait till the complete uh, loading process is been finished so meanwhile we'll switch off the antivirus or the firewall because we'll be sending the keys through the email so this antivirus or firewall will be blocking those keys so we'll not be able to receive the keys so kindly switch off the antivirus and the firewall so let me switch off it for temporarily now you can see the project is completely loaded so just right click it and click run and also make sure that you have already attached the database mysql before running this so this is the home screen or welcome screen of the project with the project title dual access control for cloud based data storage and this is the abstract of the project with that is mentioned in the base paper and here you can see the entities data owner data user authority center cloud and the enclave so first let me go to the data owner part so as i am a new user i'll be clicking registration part for making the data owner registration so now in the data owner registration let me register with the data owner as jp infotech and click sign up the registration is success now and click okay now let me go to the data owner login part with the credentials that is already used during the registration part and click login the login is success and click okay and this is the welcome screen of the data owner with the data owner name here you can see the options of uploading the file my files downloaded files and logout so first let me upload a file
so here in the uploading file options you can see the file keyword select the file access policy and what all the select access members available and preview the file so first let me create a file say example let me create with the name of the project the d drive we name it as new cloud project and save it now here in the file keyword you can just enter the keyword of the file say example uh, new cloud project and also select the file now here in the access policy you can see the policies that is available that is you wanted to make download or read policy so once if you make download policy the users can able to download the file in case if you select read policy they cannot able to download the file let me show you both the scenarios first let me click download and select the access members who can download this for example let me click principal so only principal can able to download this file uh, access this file and here you can preview the file details and then click upload uh, before clicking upload let me show you that this is a cloud project so we should save the data in the cloud so we are using drive hq cloud service provider for saving the data in the cloud so let me click upload now the file is uploaded successfully click ok if you go to my files option you can see in the my files you can see the file that you uploaded here you can see with the file id file name access policy the decryption key and uploaded date and time with these details so it is made sure that it has been uploaded in the local host let me show you in the cloud part also let me log into the cloud part drive hq So here you can see the file name new cloud project with the date 1 5 2021 8 24 pm same date and time here you can see so if you click this file you cannot able to see the data because it has been encrypted so you cannot able to the intermediates cannot able to see the data so let me log out from the cloud part so this is made sure that we have uploaded the file in the local host and the cloud also so coming back to the project part so in the downloaded files you can see it is empty because i have not downloaded any files it, it will log out now go to the data user part so i'll create a new user by clicking registration part in the data user registration so let me create a new user with the name jay prakash the email id jp16586 and gmail id And let me select the role here as student or professor or principal so let me select the role as principal to show you the part of the access control of the file that we uploaded now so for principal I have selected the role as principal and click sign up now the registration is success and click OK so now go to the data user login part so enter the email ID and the password that is used during the registration part and click login and here you can see it is the login is failed because the data user should be approved by the authority center so just go to the authority center and enter the details of the login credentials for the authority so here you can see the welcome screen of the authority center where you can see data owner data user authority request and logout so in data owners you can see who are all the data owners available in data users you can see who are all the data users available here you can see already one user has been approved um, here you can see the user that we have created right now with the name jay prakash with the email id if the role is principal is waiting so it has not been approved so just first click approve to approve the, the user 
so now you can see this user is approved so only after the authority request approves the data user the data user is able to log in otherwise the data user cannot able to log in in authority requests you can see the authority request that the file that is received for the access policy let me show you the part uh, later so now come to the data user part now let me log in with the same credential and click login here you can see the login is success now and click ok and this is the welcome screen for the data user with the data user name and the options of access file requested file downloaded files so in the email also you will receive the data user account has been activated so with the email id that we have done so here you can see that email also regarding the activation confirmation so now in the access file you can see what are the files that is uh, uh, available so once if you wanted to make a request you, if you wanted this file so you can make a request and also note that only the files that is uploaded by the data owners are shown here so let me make a request to this file request and requested file option you can see what is the file that you are requested and you can see the status of authority status and enclave status so one only if both the uh, entities authority status and enclave status approves then only you can be able to access the file with the access policy that is already mentioned so the dual access control is made here so let me log out and go to the authority center part now first in the authority center part after login you can go to the authority request here you can see the uh, the the file the file request so still the file request has not been received to the authority request because the cloud should send it to the as per the architecture the cloud should send it to the authority request on the enclave so here you can see the call request and response so now go to the cloud part login with the cloud part and click login so this is the welcome screen for the cloud server with the cloud server name here you can see the file that is available in the cloud with the file id file name access policy access member and upload time and in requested files you can see the f already the file that has been approved has also listed and now you can see the file that we have requested that is the uh, data user which is requested the file name new cloud project.txt is waiting status so first click call request so after clicking call request you can see that it has been approved from the cloud part so now the authority center and enclave should check for the access policy and should approve the file so let me show you that part now so log into the authority center so go to the authority request now here you can see the file that has been received so earlier this 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 option this file is not been shown and now you can see after the cloud has sent a call request this file option is shown here so now you can see the file name the data user who has requested and what is the access policy and what is the access access member who can access this and what is the user role so once both are the same it is been approved so once if it is different if if the access policy is the is set to principal but if student is made the request means automatically it will be rejected if both are same the access policy is correct as per the access policy only if the file is available then it will be approved automatically so now you can click uh, action to receive the key click action so first you will receive a key from that authority request now let me log out and go to the enclave part so now now go to the enclave part here you can see the enclave request here here you can see the enclave request so same 
you can see this is the file that we have requested here you can see the access member is principal and the role of the user who asked is also principal so it is approved here also it has been approved so both the access policy has been approved so to, to receive the key from the end play also click here so now both the entities have approved the files of the data user so go to the data user part now go to the requested file and now you can see this authority status is also approved enclave status is also approved so the both the dual access control is being approved now so now click download so you, here you can see the download file you should en enter the decryption key 1 and key 2 and also verify so you cannot enter some some bogus data it will show incorrect key values so you should uh, give the exact keys key 1 and key 2 so go to your email and check the keys so here you can see authority center approved your file request with the decryption key 1 and also enclave approved your file request these mails would have received to the data user so first let me enter the decryption key 1 and the decryption key 2 and click verify now you can see the file is now verified and also the file content is shown so as this access policy is made to download the file you can see this option in case if it is a read access you could not able to download this file so let me click download and save it in the desktop and if you open the file you can see the content of it and here in the downloaded files you can see the file which you downloaded with the date and time of it so let me log out so now we have seen the access policy as per the access policy the request is made and done so let me show you with uh, uh, the other access policy for example let me create a new user with uh, some other name some other role for example let me create Ajit the name as like this and jp infotech chennai at gmail.com and the phone number chennai and let me select the role as student now okay and click sign up now go to the authority center to activate this data user So now you can see this data user is waiting so click approve let me log out and go to the data user part now and click login now go to the access files so now you can see here the file that we have uploaded for the principal is available but this is but as i have logged in with the data role as student so let me show you what happens if this scenario so click request now you can see the requested file is waiting and waiting here the requested files of the data user so now let me log out and go to the cloud part to make a call request now in the requested file you can see this file is waiting and click call request so now log out and go to the authority center now go to the authority request now here you can see it is rejected because the role is for the principal but the data user who has requested for the file is student so he cannot able to access the file so it is being rejected so now let me log out and go to the enclave part and click login now go to the enclave request so here in enclave also you can see 
the role is for the principal but this is, it is been requested by the student so it is automatically rejected so now you could have get an idea about the access policy of uh, uh, with the exact access policy and also the uh, access policy the overcoming the access policy so let me go to the data user part and show you So in the requested file here you can see it is being rejected and rejected so you cannot able to download the file even if you uh, give some decryption key it gives you and in email you can check that this data user account has been activated and also other two messages has been received shown that here you can see the rejected your file request you are not authorized to access this file and also from the enclave we can see that there has been enclave rejected your file request so authority center also a request rejected the file request and enclave is also rejected the file request and so the data is protected from the unauthorized user and from like edos attacks so let me log out and go to the cloud part to show you the evaluation and in the cloud part you can see the files that are available in the cloud and requested files and the final is a graph part so graph part you can see the analysis of the graph part with the time in seconds that is uh, used for encryption time average encryption time and decryption time so this is a dynamic graph this is not a static one this varies according to the files that you are uploading and also downloading so accordingly these values will be changed if you wanted to export this value also you can save it so in this way you can able to save the data the exported uh, data and let me log out from the cloud part and this is all about the project dual access control for cloud based data storage and sharing and thank you for watching